the chamber, it clearly is the focal point and it's what people know best. But we also have a secondary chamber called Westminster Hall. That chamber is used for, for debates where, for instance, again, an individual member of parliament might, might be pushing a particular issue. So what it's provided is really a new forum in which members of parliament can raise issues and critically get a minister to respond because that's the important thing. The debates that happen in Westminster Hall have actually got exactly the same status, are equally reported as it is any event in, in the chamber. The difference is you cannot have a vote in Westminster Hall. So as long as it's something where you just want to have a general debate about something, there's still the minister still comes into Westminster Hall and gives answers. You've still got the shadow minister as well asking questions um, and making speeches. It is exactly the same, reported in exactly the same way, and the only difference is that you can't have a vote. Can I say at the outset that I also support the overall aims of the government in respect to this issue? Members sit round a hemicycle rather than facing each other as they do in the chamber. And it has the advantage that it's more intimate, I think, than the chamber. The public sit on the same level, which does, for some debates, if you're talking about something that the people listening are very concerned about, makes them feel more connected to the people speaking. This morning, if I may, I want to set out the practical problems and concerns with the government's proposals. You see the chamber packed for Prime Minister's question time, and of course for the big statements, for the uh, budget statement uh, and so on, the chamber is cramped. At other times, my constituents will say to me, well, you know, where are you? Because the chamber is um, you know, either half empty or, 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 or actually you know, pretty empty. Uh, and actually what MPs do outside the chamber is really important. Members of Parliament have a very busy life, I think. Many are members of select committees, so they will be attending meetings probably at least once a week usually. Quite a few will be on something called public bill committees, which are the committees which go through legislation, or they will be on committees looking at secondary legislation or on European documents. If we're not in committee, we will have lots of all party groups that we may be members of, that we are um, you know, subject matters that, that we, we, we are concerned about. But also, you're, you're obviously back in then your office working with your researchers because we field about a thousand emails and letters a week uh, from constituents. The job is so varied and one of the things about being an MP that is fantastic is you know, every single day you arrive and you absolutely have no idea what's going to happen that day. It's always completely different. 